1,000 days, Mom stopped at sea. Okay, <clears throat> I'm getting ready to go in and uh, work on the bottom a bit. I have my mask. I'll have to get my snorkel and fins. I have my gloves because the barnacles are sharp. And I have my tool tools that I work with. This one nearly takes two hands. It depends on how thick the barnacles are. And this one. And I just sanded them to get the edges nice and smooth because I'm going to clean the underwater window and I don't want to scratch it up too much. And so I'm going to have to tie safety strings on these so I don't drop them while I'm working with them. And what else? Oh, I'm going to put some oil on these so they don't get too rusty going in and out of the salt water. while I'm doing things but also um, to if I rub against the boat I don't want to get um, uh, my shoulders or arms scratched against the sharp barnacles okay let's go out this is July the 5th we're about 250 miles south of the Cabo Verde Islands on our way to the equator and uh, it looks like we've run out of the northeast trades and we're, now we're in the doldrums uh, before we get to the equator and cross the equator and meet the southeast trade winds. So uh, we, we've had steady wind for the last uh, few weeks to a month and now um, the wind has died down and I've got to go in and, and uh, see what the bottom of the boat looks like and try to clean some of the barnacles and gooseneck mussels off of the boat. First thing I'm going to do is uh, climb down on the platform and kneel and have a look in and, and stick my head in the water and uh, make sure there's nothing there before I get in. So here goes. Well, there's nothing down there but um, three little fish who, who have been following us for weeks. Um, and uh, as soon as I started scraping some of the mussels off the boat um, uh, with the platform here, they were swimming around, nibbling, seeing what there was. But I looked all around and didn't see anything, so now I'm going to slip in the water and try to get comfortable and get used to being in the water. Uh, always having a look around. And I'm going to take the little scraper down first and go to the underwater window.
There he is. Wow, you can see really clear through there now. That was easy. Need to air. Another snorkel, both of the other snorkels out of the other bag, please. Okay. That one's got some kind of device in it that's maybe supposed to try to keep water out of your mouth, but, but it, did, it didn't leave me breathing as free as I would have liked to. There's a very thick crust of barnacles on the bottom, and it's harder to get off than I thought. This wide one's a bit wide because I have to push as hard as I can and kick my flippers to give myself the leverage to push them off, so I'm going to have to switch to a smaller blade. It's a big job. There's a lot of barnacles down there. It's a big bottom. I've just barely begun.